Welcome to Rhonda here with Foods 101. Super Bowl Sunday is right around the corner and I'm giving you heads up on how to make this spinach dip all nestled in a French bread loaf. I'm using an oblong loaf, but if you want to use a round loaf, you can go ahead and do that too. For the center, you're going to need a 10 ounce package of frozen spinach. Let it thaw and squeeze all the water out. I have one cup of shredded Italian blend cheese here. One cup of shredded Colby Jack cheese. If you'd like to substitute these cheeses for mozzarella or provolone or parmesan, you can. I'm going to leave that up to you. One cup of sour cream. One tablespoon of olive oil. Two cloves of freshly minced garlic. One fourth of a cup of thin sliced green onions. You're going to need about three and one eight ounce package of cream cheese. Let me show you how simple and easy this is to get together. First, I'm going to carve out the center of my bread loaf, leaving about an inch of your bread here on the end. Use a serrated knife. You see those little teeth? That works best. I go in here with my hands. I just pull out the center of the bread loaf. You can go ahead and pull out a little bit of this. You have a hollow loaf of French bread. I've cut down the tops and the center of my bread into little cubes. Add a drizzle of olive oil. Now I didn't show you this excess olive oil in the beginning of the video. Those bread cubes are going to really soak up that olive oil so as they bake they'll get lovely and crunchy. Back with our hollow bread loaf. I'm using that serrated knife, very handy when you're cutting bread, and I'm going to cut along the sides down towards the surface about one inch apart because that way when you can pull it apart and dip it in to your delicious spinach dip, add your bread loaf here to a cookie sheet. I bake mine on parchment paper. It makes it a lot easier to clean up. Here in the bottom, I add a little bit of that Italian cheese. I think it kind of acts like a bed to your filling to where it can keep your bread from getting soggy. In a 12 inch skillet over medium heat, I'm adding the olive oil with the garlic. Sizzle this for about one minute. You don't want to overcook your garlic. Keep it from getting brown. If it starts cooking too fast, just go ahead and remove it off the burner. Once it starts to release its fragrance, you'll know it's ready to add the other ingredients. I can smell it. We're going to add our cream cheese. And as you can see, I went ahead and I cubed my cream cheese by just slicing it down the center and cutting it until I got these lovely little cubes. Add your spinach. Stir this around until the cheese begins to melt. Mmm, that garlic smells so good. And keep your heat on low. You don't want this too high because you don't want your cheeses burning and you definitely don't want your garlic burning. Add your Italian blend cheese. I like to save a little bit for the top. Add your sour cream. Mmm, it's going to get lovely and gooey. And add your Kobe Jack cheese. And again, I like to save some to add to the top. It's beginning to melt down very, very nicely. Now that our cream cheese blocks have melted, we're going to add those green onions. Stir it in until it's well blended. Time to add this to the center of our bread loaf. Look how it just slides right in there. At this point, you want your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Top with your remaining cheeses. Ooh, this is going to be so yummy. If you want, you can kind of pull it apart just a little bit where you have those little segments around the edges. Adding a little bit of my Kobe Jack. I like shredding my cheese from the block. That way I think it keeps it from getting so starchy. So therefore your cheese is really going to pull apart very nicely. That looks perfect. Back with those tossed little bread cubes. We're going to put them along the side of our bread loaf here in a single layer. So they'll bake up nice and crunchy. Off to that preheated oven on the middle rack for the next 35 to 40 minutes or until the top of your cheese is lovely and golden. Use your timer and no peeking. Here's our baked spinach and our hollowed bread loaf. Here we go. You see how we can just tear apart the edge there and just dip right in. Oh yeah, that look how yummy that is. Mmm, 
Mmm, delicious, cheesy, mmm, a hint of that garlic. Look at these little bread cubes that baked up that we tossed with that olive oil. We can just dip that in there. Wow, lovely, crunchy. Hey, you all, this is absolutely addictive. Serve it with celery, serve it with carrots, serve it with chips, or anything else you can think of. Excellent to serve during your Super Bowl party or for any time you're entertaining. Enjoy the Super Bowl. I'm Dorana with Foods 101. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell to be the first to get my new YouTube food videos. Thanks a million for watching, you all. Stay safe, and I'll catch you lovely people later.